let's peel the band-aid folks and cut this amazing Jurassic Amity. pretty good we got the umbilicus in there intact and flipper quick intact i'm really happy with that let's do it we'll see if it was worth it <laughs> oh my gosh this is the best ammonite i have ever cut open amazing geode pockets on the inside oh my Gosh, we got some broken up septa lines in here. That's gonna look cool, polished. Crystals, 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 crystals. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, that is so sweet. How does it happen? How does a once living creature crystallize? Oh, it's just amazing. Wow, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Oh, must be allergic to amazing reveals. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am over the moon about that. I'm just happy that it was worth it. Oh, so good, it played out perfectly. The center is intact. Oh, I'm happy, happy, happy. Let's fire up the Cab King and we will get started turning this into a now display piece specimen. So on my Cap King, I have res wheels and I'm working bigger material right now. So I've doubled up my res wheels, 280, 600, 1200 and 3000. These are softer. I can get away with just starting on the 600 grit res wheel, then the 1200 and wrapping it up on the 3000 grit. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Hopefully this goes well. I'm gonna give this a little rinse, get all those little extra bits and crystals out of there. So as I'm polishing, it doesn't shoot out and leave big scratch marks in it. So. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll show you how it looks after 600 here in a few minutes. So I had to back up about three times because even with that thin blade, I had a bunch of saw blade marks in it and we had to work those out. And now there are no saw blade marks and it is ready to move on to the polishing stages of 1200 and 3000. Let's do that. We'll take a look at this in its full glory. 